Now that I'm back from reviewing the bomb fruit, this time we are going to look at the spike fruit. Just like the bomb fruit, the spike fruit went from being one of the worst two fruits to getting improved gradually in update 17.3, the update of the fruit revamps. So how horrible was spike a couple of years back? We're going to have a look at it. Spike fruit a couple of years back was the second cheapest fruit of all time. The cheapest being, you know, the bomb fruit. Spike fruit only cost $7,500 and was always in stock like the bomb fruit. Before update 17.3, Spike only had two moves available. The first move was called Spike Rush, where you slice your opponent about 10 times. The move just goes on so fast that you can't even count how many times you sliced them. This move right here is very bland for a fruit move. This move only just turns your hands into like swords or something and just makes a few slices. That's it. The move has a dreadfully long 9.5 second cooldown. Now you know why Spike was one of the worst fruits of all time. And I argued all the time that Spike was worse than the bomb fruit before they were revamped. The second move is called Spiky Ball, where you just turn into a spike ball and go berserk trying to slice people multiple times. The move seems cool at first, but when you activate the move, you can't just control wherever you want to go. The ball has a mind of its own. The ball just steals your controls and for a while and takes care of it. The move has a tediously long 25 second cooldown, which could have been the longest cooldown in any Blocks Roots move at the time. These moves were now history. Now that update 17.3 came out, it was determined that it was the time for the fruits to be revamped, including Spike. Spike, however, had one of the most significant revamps in the update, alongside Bomb. Let's get into the showcase and see how much it improved. The first move in the new Spike fruit is called Spike Summon. You summon multiple huge spike-like wax daggers that merge out of the ground. It's like if there is erosion going on. Only to find out that there are spikes. This move, although it's improved, looks bland to me. As if it came from the dough fruit, but they mix it up slightly. For maximum mastery and damage, it takes 3200 damage and 3900 damage on health. And it has a cooldown of 6.5 seconds. Next move is called Whirlwind. You need 25 mastery for this move. You rotate your arms as if you are a helicopter rotor and start slashing enemies around you. That looks cool. But it looks like it came straight out of the spin fruit. See how both of these are similar? It's like spin's helicopter flight, but only adding damage and removing the flight. Couldn't the developers come up with something else other than that? It's a ripoff. Not to mention it is short range, so chances of mobs hitting you is likely. The move deals 3,300 damage when clicked on and 4,600 damage in health. The move also has an 11 second cooldown. Third move is called Spiky Ball. You need 50 mastery for this move. You turn into a giant white Sonic the Hedgehog and dash straight towards an enemy, shredding them as you go along as White Sonic the Hedgehog. It's an improved version of the old version of the same move name. It's a relief that Spiky Ball rolls straight and not just going anywhere as if it's an idiot. The move deals about 4,500 damage and has a 14 second cooldown. Last move is called Spike Barrage. You need 75 mastery to use this move. You create multiple giant spikes in a row and stab or impale enemies that you are fighting. It's pretty anticlimactic for Fruit's last move. All it does is spend, send spikes in one direction. Could these freaking moves get any more bland? The longer you hold them, the taller the spikes get. The move takes a bit over 3,400 damage and clicked on. Nearly 4,500 damage and health. The move has a cooldown of 12 seconds, which is weird. Even though Spike improved and is more expensive than the Bomb Fruit, I found Spike to be worse than the Bomb Fruit, even though the two fruits revamped and their prices went up. The fact that you have to hold three, yes, I mean three out of four moves for maximum damage makes it a complete waste of freaking time. What I recommend between the two is Bomb. Bomb is more, you know, OP to use than Spike Fruit. So, what I'm telling you is, never use the Spike Fruit to grind or PvP.